All right, hey, what's up guys? Riley here from becominganelectrician.com. Here we have a light box in the ceiling. I wanna be talking to you about why you should never be bringing power to the light box. We always wanna bring power to the actual light switch and then just bring a switch leg up to the light, okay? Because what happens is now when you have to do troubleshooting, you have to take down the light. If you wanted to do troubleshooting on a switch, it is way easier if power is in there. So this is a big rookie mistake by putting power into the light box because it requires way more work, okay? Now, um, I just wanna give a disclaimer. First of all, this is not my work. I am just taking on this light. I want to install a light here, but this work was done beforehand. And um, I'll just show you here quickly that this is live, okay? So again, disclaimer, do not be working on live stuff and don't, listen to anything in my videos, right? That's why I put my that uh, disclaimer at the beginning of my videos. So again, uh, if you guys wanna stay updated with my website, you guys can check out my free book for apprentice electricians. Just go to becominganelectrician.com forward slash subscribe, and you can download my free book, which teaches you some valuable tips of what I wish I knew uh, before I uh, became a journeyman electrician. Okay, so you can see in this box, we have a 14.3, okay? And we have a 14.2. So this, electrician, if it was an electrician, it could have been just a do-it-yourself homeowner, which you always gotta be careful of, right? But they have brought power from the 14.3 from a light switch. Okay, so let's talk about why you should never be bringing power to the light, because as you can see, we have to take down the light and in order to troubleshoot. If power is actually in the switch, then it's so easy. You just take a screwdriver, you take off the cover plate, you take off this, or like you pull out the switch, and if power is there, troubleshooting so easy, okay? So we have the 14.3, which is right here. You can see it has the red, the white, and the black. And then we have the 14.2, which is right here, okay? Now the power is coming on the black from the 14.3, and I'll break that down in just a second. Now, what I wanna say is this is just a, a bedroom with a single light. So in other words, we should not be seeing more than one wire in here, like one 14.2. If there were multiple lights in the bedroom, then you bring a 14-2 up here and you carry on that 14-2 to the other lights. It's the easiest way. You don't wanna be bringing power up here, splicing, bringing a switch leg back down. It gets very confusing. Okay, so there's power already in the switch box. There is a hot and a neutral. And if you can follow your neutral, the neutral is the easiest way to figure out your, you know, all like your circuitry. Keep that always in your mind, okay? If you can follow where the neutral goes, everything will, will, will eventually start to make sense, okay? Because then you just need to provide a hot. The neutral and the hot were already in the light switch box. They brought power up on this black from the 14.3. They also brought the neutral up with it, okay? Then what they're gonna be doing is on the actual switch in the box, they are tying on this red, okay? And then in the switch box, they are also splicing onto this black wire and making a pigtail for this power to continue through. So what's gonna happen is inside this light box, we have the switch leg, and then we just use this for the neutral for our light. So this light has four wires. It has a, you know, two blacks and two whites. And again, that is just because this light has two bulbs. And so when I'm actually wiring it, right, this neutral goes to this neutral. And then this, uh, these blacks go to the red for the switch leg. And then meanwhile, they have just carried on power because right now this light could work, right? If you wanted to tie the light on, you can, you could just tie it to, it, you know, you could just take these off, um, put the actual pigtails from the light into here and your light would be always on, but you need to be able to switch it. And so that is why they have the 14.3 for the switch and all they're doing is inside the box, they essentially are cutting this hot wire. So they're cutting it, they're splicing on, they're putting the hot onto the switch. This is becoming what's called the switch leg. And then essentially you're running power up here twice. So not only are you kind of wasting money by running an unnecessary conductor, um, you're just making it way more confusing for everybody. All right, so I hope that makes sense. Long story short, run power to your switch 
and carry power to the next switch, to the next switch, to the next switch. And then in order for these lights to turn on, we bring up what's called a switch leg. And then if you want multiple lights to power off of that switch leg, then you're gonna splice them in here, all right? So in other words, power is at the light switch. We bring a switch leg up to the box. If you want multiple lights off of that switch leg, you just splice them on, you keep it super simple. All right, so hope this video helps, give some clarity and some wisdom to you as you are wiring your circuits. If you wanna stay updated with my website, just go to becominganelectrician.com forward slash subscribe. You can download my free book for apprentice electricians and whenever I release new videos or new articles, you will be emailed when I release them. Now, two last things I just wanna say. So again, this is just for a basic light. If you are dealing with a ceiling fan, well, typically, yes, we run a 14.3. And then if you're running your smoke detectors, yes, you have to run 14.3s for your smoke detector because you have your hot, your neutral, and then kind of like your uh, little communication, right? This, this daisy chains them all. So if one smoke detector goes off, they all go off. But in this case, this is just a single light. They ran a 14.3 when power was already in the box. They should have just ran a 14.2. You should have just only had, this is all you should have had. You should have only had these wires. That's how clean, should have looked this clean. If I could do it like that, right? Should have made it super, super clean looking. Uh, but that's it, okay? So I'll talk to you guys in the next video.